hello viewers today i'm going to tell you about how to find out errors uh, happening due to local attraction in prismatic compass survey and how to do the correction and find out the points suffering from local attraction so for doing this uh, we first have to know about the prismatic compass it is basically an instrument used for um, acquiring the whole circle bearing of uh, given lines on the surface of the earth while doing the survey uh, in my previous videos I have already tried to explain the whole circle bearing the reduced bearing and you can uh, go and view those those uh, videos for the understanding of whole circle and reduced bearing so here uh, we will try to find out the look the error happening due to local attraction since it is a compass and there is uh, it is very much attracted to the magnetic field so there are often errors during this survey so before doing this we need to have some uh, calcul some uh, result of the survey for example we should have some uh, line values and uh, uh, the values of forward and backward bearing for those lines okay so here are the few values here you can see I have made a um, table using the lines which I have uh, surveyed while doing prismatic uh, while using prismatic compass these are the line this is the forward bearing for the line this is the backward bearing for the line since uh, here you can see the lines are a b b c c d d e e f and f a here one thing you have to note that uh, the survey has been started from A and is ending at A. So from these two, you can understand that this uh, is basically a closed traverse survey. Okay. So in a closed traverse survey, we we used to end from the uh, in the point where we have started. Okay. Now understanding this forward bearing for understanding this whole forward and backward bearing, we have to understand that. For a given line, for example, AB, there is a line AB. So when we are taking the alignment of line with the help of a prismatic compass from point A, and we are finding this angle, okay, this angle, this one is called as the forward bearing because we are sighting from A to B. On the other hand, for this line, when we are sighting from B to A, that is, we are taking this reading, okay, this whole circle bearing. This is called as the backward. Uh, sighting or you can say backward bearing so there are two values for each lines a b for a b line the forward bearing is taken from a and backward bearing is taken from b a so uh, b c similarly uh, the line viewed from b to c is called uh, forward bearing and c to b is called backward bearing so these are the values of backward and forward bearing for each of these lines now for understanding the error one thing we have to know that uh, there is a, a rule that whenever we find the difference between forward and bear backward bearing then the difference should uh, if the difference is 180 then we will consider that both of these bearing are correct whenever there is a deviation from 180 either uh, in negative or a positive deviation we will call that uh, either this or de this have either forward or backward bearing have some error there is a error in that particular line okay so let us find the difference between these two forward and backward bearing okay fi while finding the difference we can just subtract the forward bearing from the backward bearing or we can sometimes subtract the backward bearing from the forward bearing depending on the greater value okay so there should not be any confusion either way we can do we just have to find out the difference so here I have uh, found, found out, find out the difference. We have subtracted this from here and got 180. 180 means this uh, line AB is uh, here both forward and backward bearing are correct. Okay, so reading from taken from A to B and B to A is, are both correct. Here since it is 180 degree both of these readings are correct. Okay, now next reading is 181. Okay, the difference is 181 means uh, either this or this can be wrong but since uh, from uh, when we took reading from b to a it was correct so we will consider that b was correct 
even during its uh, its sighting from from B to C. Okay, so the forward bearing from B to C is also will be considered as correct. Okay, since B was already correct in this line, so and C can have some error. We don't know about the C. Okay, but we know that since the backward bearing that is B to A was correct. So we will consider B to C is also correct. Similarly, here also you will find some error and we don't know which one is correct or which one is wrong. So we will just leave it. Okay. Next one is here 180 degree. So it was correct. Both of these readings are correct. So the line uh, DE is correct. Since the line D is correct, the sighting from D to E was correct. So we will consider the sighting from D to C that is the backward bearing CD is also correct. Okay. Now coming to here uh, this the second the next line that is EF. Since the sighting from E to D was correct, the backward bearing E to D was correct. So we will consider the forward reading E to F is also correct. So there is the chance that this reading can be wrong okay now next one is this one and here also there is a uh, error now again we will consider here since in the earlier line a b it was correct the reading was correct from a to b so we will consider then the reading the backward reading from a to f that is this one is a reading from f to a that is the backward reading of f a is also correct okay so these are the values where i haven't ticked are the probable errors are happening here only okay so these are the values which are suffering from local attraction and we, where are these values collected from the points c and f so we have two points which are suffering from local attraction and they are point c and f so point c and f are suffering from local attraction now coming to the next step here what we will do is we will find out the errors errors in each of these figures since there is an plus since here the value is 180 error is 0 here it is 181 so there is a plus 1 error there is a minus 1 error there is 0 error plus 2 error and minus yeah minus 2 okay so there are the errors based on this e errors we will do corrections corrections for corrections since with zero errors we will do zero correction no need to correct again here there is error of plus 1 so we will see here what is happening the error we have to correct in the backward reading okay now since we have to correct we have subtracted these values from the bigger one so here what happens to reduce is this value by one we have to less one from 301 so we will simply less one in the correction we have to reduce one from this value then the correction will be done next value there is an error of less one again you have to see here the correction has to be done here but if we reduce here we, if we reduce 1 here, the value will be managed, isn't it? If we reduce 1 here, the value will be 180. We don't have to add it because we are subtracting this value from here. So depending on which value subtracting from which, okay, and where is the location of the bigger value, we will, depending on that, we will do the correction. Here we can just reduce 1 and we will get the corrected value. So here the correction is plus 1. Similarly, here also we will do. Here what we have to do, you, we have to yeah, add 2 here to bring the value to 180. So, here also we will add 2. Add 2 in the backward sighting. Here we have to do the correction in the forward reading. Okay. So, here also we have to do the correction by adding. Since this one is the figure which we have read. Uh, lesson from here so this this figure we have to add 2 in this so plus 2 so these are the correction that we will do so after correction we will get corrected bearings okay so let me first write it down for you so here i have written the corrected values again we can see 
since both of these readings were correct for AB, so for AB the correct reading will be the same values 38 and 218. Again in the second uh, line BC we have the correct forward bearing as correct so we will simply write it down and there is a correction in the backward bearing so we will have to reduce one since the correction was less one we have to reduce one so I have written 300 okay next one is 141 and here we will do correction and the correction one is less one okay so we will reduce one from here and we will write here 140 and the uh, backward bearing was correct here so we will simply plot it here both of the readings are correct so we will plot it as it, it was then in the next reading next line that is EF the forward bearing was okay but there is a correction in the backward reading and the correction was plus 2 we have to add 2 here okay so here is the result uh, it was 75 so we have written 77 next in EFA uh, there is the correction in the forward bearing but the backward bearing was okay so we have written the backward be bearing as it is and since the correction was plus 2 we have added 2 in the forward bearing so finally we will get the final corrected bearing like this okay so here I have shown you how to correct the uh, bearings while uh, doing the prismatic compass survey and when uh, how to find out the points suffering from local attraction and correct the errors happening due to local attraction so thank you